welcome back to my channel thank you everyone welcome back to Cafe fertility good day everyone and to our new subscribers thank you for joining us i promise that you won't regret clicking on the subscribe button um please always give us a thumbs up everybody here should give us a thumbs up not only the new subscribers please try to give us a, a, a thumbs up and then um, always drop questions on the comment section if you have any and i promise to answer them to my best ability so today's video is so straightforward i want to list the things that um, is expected of you when you're trying to get pregnant when you're trying to conceive things that you need and that you're supposed to do to help and assist you in conception so but before we go into that i just want to say this it has been on my mind and it's okay when i want to do my video today i'll just put it out there for everybody to understand it and know i know some people know it but i know it's really not easy but um, i just want to say this so if you're trying to conceive or you are dealing with one or two diseases please and please just believe that there is god and then um, he will surely do it he has been doing it before and he will do it again yes god and also try to assist yourself in the minimum ways that you can when you know your tubes are blocked try the tube recipe try try hsg you understand and um, try um hydrotubation you know things like that when you know your hormones are imbalanced try the seeds the fertility seeds and all that but before all this call on god almighty that created you and i to this world and i'm sure he would listen to us so let me get right into details if you're trying to conceive as a lady trying to conceive one thing that you need to avoid is coffee yes we are not or i am not saying that you should not drink coffee but take it in minimum maximum is good just as in like it should be once in a week if possible once in a month if you know you like or you're addicted in one or two ways to coffee please get or find a way around it to to detach yourself from it because having too much caffeine when you're trying to get pregnant does not help it stops some natural necessary processes that are supposed to occur in your reproductive system and in your body overall it in one or two way coffee also helps people like when they don't want to sleep on time or when they don't want to sleep when they want to like read or want to stop it you notice that it helps them in that way that and they will not be able to sleep when they take their coffee and as a pregnant woman stress is not good you need your sleep yes because sleeping also helps a lot with weight loss with hormone balance and all that stress is one thing that hacks the hormonal imbalance yes but once you're relaxed once you're calm once you take care of yourself and your body system you see that your hormones and every other thing start working well i've mentioned detaching yourself from caffeine then you also have to be in the right shape in the right shape your bmi which is your body max index is supposed to be accurate you are not supposed to be overweight neither are you supposed to over thin or over slim you understand what i'm saying you're just supposed to be on the right shape you're supposed to be on the right shape or in the right shape if i'm wrong in the right shape yes supposed to be in the right shape another thing again for you to do is quit smoking yes i know a lot of women here don't smoke but uh, it is normally a usual thing abroad but it happens here also it happens in our country also um smoking for ladies happen everywhere it is just some states or some country it is more pronounced but for some countries for some states it is not pronounced okay so i just want to say if you're trying to get pregnant please quit it because it do affect one or two things in the body system most of just like in the productive area smoking when you smoke you know you inhale those smokes and then it deals with your liver it deals with kidneys it deals with a lot of things it's a lot of organs that are so important inside the body system and another thing again to let go of is alcohol yes alcohol you need to let go of alcohol 
because it tampers a lot. So if you are taking a call and then um, and you're pregnant, there are some kind of defects that you would pass on to your child because your body system can't be able to detox the, the alcohol from your system. But for the child, it cannot be able to detox alcohol for the child. You understand what I'm saying? So it surely will affect the child that you are planning to give birth to. And I know you wouldn't really want that. So another thing again is have sex. Yes. One, one thing that people fail to understand is when you're taking supplements, when you're doing the right necessary things, when you're on the right fertility diet, when you're doing your exercise, the next thing again for you to do or for you to get into is having regular sex. Yes, if you're not having sex, and how would conception take place? Yes, I know some doctors or some people would advise, okay, have sex during your ovulation, when you're getting close to your ovulation. What I advise and what I know some fertility doctors also advise is, at least have sex four times in a week there's seven days in a week right four times in a week you surely will not miss your ovulation you can even make it five times it doesn't really matter you know what you want why not go down why not get down to it so another thing again is extreme exercise yes you want to lose weight, you want to lose weight, but don't make your exercise too extreme. You can do exercise when you're walking, you can do exercise with skipping, and the skipping should be limited. You can do simple, simple cardio exercises, you can do yoga, yes, meditation is so good. It's another form of exercise that also helps with hormonal imbalance, yes. And you need to avoid junk food, yes. One thing about this channel, one thing you should know about this channel is I will always and I always preach that the food is thy medicine. Yes, food is medicine because what you take goes into your system, circulates everywhere before it comes out as waste. Yes, so if you take a protein or so you take a nutritious food, the nutrients would be absorbed by your body, by your body tissues and all. And the waste product not needed by the body system will come out right as pieces so why don't you take those essential things that will help you with your cell growth your tissue growth help you with balancing your hormone in your body system balancing the hormones in your body system why don't you do it take nutritious food get on to and start taking good vegetables start taking good fruits i mean take a, a healthy fats like a, avocado and stop on sweeting and stop taking sweeting things like sugary yogurt, sugary sodas and all that, Sh um, uh, orange juice, when it is already, you can make your own orange juice, you can squeeze your own orange juice, but those are all artificial orange juice where they put sweeteners and all that, please do away with those things, they are not necessary. You can take yogurt, yogurt is one excellent probiotic that na ladies need, especially when you are dealing with infections like bacterial diagnosis, like um, yeast infections, all those things. You got is a probiotic that's supposed to be taken, and you will notice you don't have itchy down there, you don't have hotness and um, hot sensation feeling down there again. So, you got is so good. You can take your you got if you know your you like sugary things, you can add a little one to it, and voila, you're done. You enjoy your, your you enjoy your you got. You don't have to put sugar, sugar is one thing that is the enemy of conception. When you're trying to conce conceive, it is one thing you need to let go. Fine, it is easy with people. Some will tell you, I will take sugar, but we still conceive. Fine, it might be easy with you. It might be good for you, but it's not good for the other person. So you just have to let go of certain things. And sugar is also among one of those things that you need to let go. Totally, totally. Make good and undiluted honey your thing. Yes. And, um... Too much carb, yes. Too much white rice. You can go for bulk wheat instead of the normal white rice. You can go for brown rice also if you know you like rice too much because some of those things we can't say, okay, avoid them totally. It is wrong. If you are saying avoid this thing, you should have something to replace that thing with. I'm sorry about that. If you are saying avoid this certain thing, we should have something that will tell you, okay, if you're avoiding this thing, you replace it with this one. So if you can't, if you can't eat the bulk wheat, you go for your, you go for your brown rice. 
Do you understand me? Fine, and um, go for foods that has low glycemic index. Yes, go for food that have low glycemic index. Overall thing, overall thing, reduce stress when you're trying to get pregnant. Take care of yourself and your body system. Yes, take care of your health. Watch what you eat. Do portion control and exercise a little. Your exercise can be working like I've said before. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy this thing. These are the do's and the don'ts when you're trying to get pregnant. Thank you so much and may God bless you. If you have any question, drop it down below. I'm always here to answer. Please like our our videos give us a thumbs up please help us in sharing if you've not subscribed what are you waiting for help me by subscribing it is free thank you so much